Well, people understand that the economic operating system, that the economic game is rigged. Right? The problem is they think that what's going on is that there are corrupt actors, that Hillary Clinton or Goldman Sachs or some people in suits, some rich people, have corrupted an otherwise equitable system. When in reality, the system is working exactly as it was programmed to do. It hasn't been corrupted. It's just been sped up by digital technology. So we can see it. We can see its extractive nature much more clearly. It's like it's traditional capitalism on steroids equals what we're in. But because people think it's corrupted, that it, it couldn't have been programmed this way, it couldn't have been built this way, they think of the economy as nature, as a pre-existing condition of, of God. They don't realize that people invented central currency. They don't realize that the corporate charter was an innovation specifically designed to put small businesses out of business and to promote the interests of a few. Because they don't get that, they're just mad. They're mad, and, and they can't think, like, how can we optimize the operating system better? How can we do that? They just feel powerless and exploited. And they're looking for someone to knock all the chips off the table. To, it's like, no, they don't want to deal the cards again. They want to throw the whole table in the air. They're mad. So I get that. And that anger, in America anyway, it goes back to the, the traditional impetus for fascism, which is, oh, there's foreigners coming and taking our jobs and other countries that are exploiting us. It's time to get back and, you know, look at our national interests and all. But, you know, what they don't realize is the nation's not real. That, that nation state is an abstract fabrication. Cities are real. The city-state was a real thing. That's a whole group of people piling up on top of each other and doing business and having their markets. Cities are almost like these little termite mounds. But nation-states, those are really arbitrary, artificial boundaries that were put around many different kinds of people. And it was declared, okay, you guys are Italians. You guys are French. You guys are this. And you guys are Americans. And they're not, they're not actual. It's not even a, a particularly viable economic unit. But, you know, we don't have time to get into that. But uh, uh, it's it's where we go back to really since, you know, 13 or 1400, the idea of our nation. Um, so Trump appeals to that and that it feels traditional. And he's hearkening back to a time when most of these people weren't alive, when they think things were better. But they weren't. They were just, I mean, different.